Good morning from Epcot. We're here today for food and wine again. There's still a lot of booths that we haven't tried yet, so. Yeah, I need I'm to try some new stuff today. Yeah, and I'm very hungry. So we came prepared today to eat a yes. lot of food and hopefully get some drinks. So come join us. It's a gorgeous day here today. And I always love coming over to the fountain. Looks like Mickey and Minnie just went inside. We just missed them, but they come over here and do social distance meet, meet and greet so you can stand there and get your photo. We came over to see what the test track weight is and it just went from 10 to 15. And we're a little after 12.30, so the park opened at 11 o'clock, so it's really, really low crowds again today. If you watched our last video, we went to Lobster Landing, which is a new booth for this year. And we got the baked lobster dip we might have to come back later on and get that again because it was so good, but right now we're gonna do something we haven't done yet. We decided to stop at Flavors from Fire, and I think I'm gonna try the chimichurri up off it. <laughs> These names are really funny. Here it is, and it actually has a kind of sauce on top that smells really good. Mm. We moved over to the shade a little bit. What do you think? It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. The meat is a little tough. Yeah, I thought it was a little overcooked for my I prefer more of like a medium right. rare. Yeah, that was same. well done, I think. But this cake is really good. Yeah, the corn cake is my favorite part. A little bit sweet. The sauce is tart. There's a zing with the slaw. So. You have it on your tooth. Oh, no. <laughs> it's on your teeth. That means you like it. I can feel it. I don't know if I would get that one again. I liked it, but I don't think it's worth getting again. I'm glad we tried it. Yeah, good, not great. What about you? It was same. I was it was good. I'm glad we got it, but it's not something that I need to come back for. Right. It had good flavors. Yeah. But it just isn't my personal taste. I yeah. Think. It was well next. done though. On to the next. Yeah. Let's go. We're at the Epcot Experience where they have the brew wine. So they have all of these flavors of wings. You guys told us were really good. And then they also have pumpkin cider, which I think I might want to try. I think you said brew wine. It's brew wing. I said brew wine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a G. Okay, brew wing. What in the world is wrong with me today? I don't know. All right, so we got the mango habanero wings. It's a lot of peppers. I'm gonna be the brave one and try it first. Ready? Oh man, okay. Yep, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna go for it. We like um, spice, so. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it without ranch at first. Just to see. We gotta know what the That's flavor's hard. like. It's not bad. It's not too bad. So we've done the hot wings challenge before. You can buy all the one, the hot sauces that they use on hot ones. Hot ones is what yeah, they call Yeah, hot ones, yeah. And this is nothing compared to that, so. I feel like when they said hot, they have to keep everybody in mind, so it's probably really not that hot. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I like it. All right, this is the Blake's Hard Cider Company Apple Lantern Roasted Pumpkin. So this is a hard cider. Never heard of a pumpkin cider before. <laughs> that is fall. I'm going to be jealous. I got a 12 ounce of this one and they had a cider flight but I opted for a 12 ounce of the pumpkin because I'm just, in my head it's fall but here it's 100 degrees. <laughs> it is definitely not here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. Is it a little sweet too? Mm -hmm. It's got the typical spice fall pumpkin yeah. kind of spice flavor. I'm going to try it. So that would be a good one to have with spicy wings. Yes. A little bit of sweet to go with the yeah. spice. <laughs> Isn't it oh, good? So many flavors. <laughs> it's apple right away, mm -hmm. and then the pumpkin comes in. Yeah. And then you get cinnamon, and this is good. It's All right, very mine. good. No. <laughs> Matt's gonna be brave and try it with one of the peppers. The pepper it did add a little bit of spice, but to me it's fine. It's a little ting uh, tingle. Mm -hmm. I would recommend doing the ranch if you don't really like spice, because this might be a, too, a little bit much for you. Yeah. But for me, this is perfect. And it's got a really good flavor. It's got a sweetness to it as well. We came outside because the music got really loud, <laughs> but <laughs> you want to try your beer? What yeah. is this one? So it's a blood orange IPA. Mm. You had me a blood orange. So it was Central 28 Beer Company's Groveland Road Blood Orange IPA, and this is local out of Florida. Nice. So Todd already had a I like how they always do a lot of local yeah, I did um, too. things here. One of them was from Orlando. Yeah. I didn't know oh, that. Oh, I didn't see that. It was the pineapple one. I got a video of the can of that. It looked really cool. This is really nice. Yeah? No, We're going to say light yeah. and nice at the same time. Lice, yeah. 
It's not wise. <laughs> Does anybody else do that when you have two words you want to say and you just say a combination yeah. of the two? Yeah, it's okay. You That's can make up words. me every week. <laughs> I don't know if we've said this in this video, but I always try to say this. I have celiac disease, so I have to eat the gluten-free options that they have. And they have them labeled on the menus. And this year, Mexico doesn't have any... Right? No, they don't. But they normally are really good with that. So yeah, I'm normally gonna ask, everything there is gluten free. Yeah, I'm gonna ask and see. Look at the crowd levels right now. We were just saying it feels like last year at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, but yeah, this is, wow, this is crazy. I know we say that in every video, but we haven't seen it like this in a very long time. Okay, we asked and they cannot guarantee anything gluten free. So I think we're gonna move on and just get a margarita while in Mexico. It's a good consolation prize, I think. Yeah, we have to. So we decided to go to Choza de Margarita instead of La Cava inside, just because we haven't been here in a while and I really like these margaritas. They have good margaritas here. We got the table here in the corner, right at the pavilion. We got the classic lime frozen margarita. This one is my favorite. It it's is really good. delicious. And then what did you get? I got the what, wild berry or wild passion, I think. Oh. I also saw that they're offering the Neil Patrick Harris created uh, margarita called Black Magic. They have it frozen. It's $21, so I'm not ready to spend $21 on a margarita today. This one is $12, and this one yes. will do for me, but I have had the Black Magic before when it was inside, not frozen, and it is really good. All right, I'm gonna try this margarita now. Mm exactly what you need on a hot day. So good, and it's very cooling. It's not too sweet, that's why I like the lime. The Fiesta is a good one to try if you wanna try all the flavors, but this one's really great because it's not too sweet. It tastes like it has mezcal in it, even though that wasn't on the list. There's a smokiness to it. I probably, I, like it. I don't know if I would like, I mean I sometimes am in the mood for it, but I have to be in the mood for mezcal, I feel like. Last time we were here in Norway, the Frozen Ever After line was all the way down here. Let's see what it is right now. It's only a 10 minute wait, so we're gonna do it. We haven't done this ride in so long. They have plexiglass everywhere, like all the other rides. We're at the India booth now, and they have korma chicken that I can have and the Madras red curry. Maybe in 2019 they had the same thing. Do you think, Matt? Because I feel like I've had that before. Yeah, I feel like we did. We got the red curry before. It sounds like something that I would like, but I feel like it's too heavy for right now when it's 100 degrees. <laughs> so we might pass and we're gonna keep on walking. The refreshment outpost has a veggie option. This is the spicy Gateri? Gateri? I don't know how to say that but it's white beans, pigeon peas, and Ben's original quinoa and ancient grains. That sounds really good. Kenya has another gluten-free option. This is the Kenyan coffee barbecued beef tenderloin. Oh, it has the corn pap, which is what you get from um, Boma. If you've been to Boma, they have pap and it's so good. So here's the Kenyan coffee tenderloin. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of pap and everything with it. Okay, now that I've gathered my thoughts, this is, I think, my favorite thing at Food and Wine so far. Wow, and really? I, I don't even like beef a lot. Like, I don't eat it a lot. I was gonna say, is, you normally avoid beef. I do, but this, oh my gosh, everything about it tastes so good. It's rich, it's creamy, but it has a nice herbal balance. It's got um, kind of a cinnamon flavor in the pap, and then the carrots, it's just, it's fantastic. The beef was cooked perfectly. There's a curry flavor to it. That's what it is. It's curry, it's turmeric, it's cumin. It's all of the spices that I really love in one dish. And I think that that's why I like it so much. Yeah, and coffee. And it's very creamy. Yeah, and you can taste the coffee. That's, that's delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. If you like more complex flavors, I think, then this is the one to get. Especially if you like Sitna, if you like food at Animal yeah, Kingdom, totally. or Boma, this is the one to get. And another thing, we got a magic moment because the cast member gave us two free waters. She just handed them yeah, to Yeah, she's like, here. She's, she's like, here, here you go. I was like, oh, these are much needed today. So thank you so much. That's yeah. really, really kind. It was much needed too. We're getting low on our water. Kenya, you're a favorite. We're gonna go to Germany now because it's right here. And we're going here for Matt because what are you getting, Matt? I'm getting brats with pretzel rolls. So I got a brat and a pretzel roll. Two of my favorite things. This is gonna be hard to eat. So here we go. 
when Matt ordered this, the cast member said, give a bratwurst for the Star Wars fan. <laughs> and because he's wearing this shirt today. Yeah. And then when you got it, they said, may the force be with you. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, that was awesome. This is good. You like exactly it? Exactly what you wanted, yeah. Pretzel would you get roll. It? Would you get it again? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is super easy to eat and mustard. I mean, all my favorite things. We're back at Spain, and you guys know how much we loved the charcuterie last time we were here, but I think we're gonna get that plus the seafood salad this time. All right, we got the seafood salad this time to try because it sounded really interesting, and I love the way that they present it in this cup. So you have different layers, and you have the romaine lettuce on the bottom. Yeah, I like or I guess it's iceberg lettuce, shredded iceberg. So there's shrimp and olives and scallops. Wow, I like this a lot. This is really good. It's very refreshing. Really it looks light. really light, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the smoked paprika flavor right away. Mm. This is a nice light option to get. Matt, you're gonna like this one. With the green olives, it adds a nice flavor and the smoked paprika. And then you have a brightness from a green bell pepper. Oh wow. It's really nice. You had me on olives. Mm -hmm. You'll like this. So Matt is already eating the charcuterie. Well, he's almost done with the charcuterie. Almost done. But we talked about that in our last video. I'll link it down below in case you guys missed it. But sure this good. one is our favorite. We said we were gonna get it again. Mm -hmm. And we're really happy that we got it again. Clearly. Look at the crowd levels. We're back in Italy now. Going into America. Here's the menu at Japan. We haven't been here yet. But we're really full. So I don't think we're gonna come here yet. But ooh, the lemon drop sounds good. The griddled cheese at the grease booth sounds really good, but we're gonna save some things so that when we come back, we have some more to try. I'm so sad because I forgot that the noodle exchange is the place that I wanted to come to most today. And now I'm just not hungry. So we're gonna have to save this again. And also it's kind of hot to have pho and things like that, but gosh, doesn't this menu look amazing? I'm sad that I forgot about that place, but I am glad that we have something to look forward to when we come back, right? On a better weather day. Yes, when it's not so hot. And we'll hit that first. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. Because I feel like the noodles may be kind of filling. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know how big it the portions really are. Good. But yeah, it sounds so good. All right, we're gonna call it a day here at Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. What was your favorite thing that you tried today? I think I gotta say the brat in Germany. The brat? I just wanted that today. It, was, yeah. it fit exactly what I wanted. You've so. been talking about that for a long time. My favorite was Kenya at the, the um, beef tenderloin. I good. normally am not a beef person. That surprised me, but it was so delicious. I would get that again for sure. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And if you like videos like this and you want to hang out with us some more, then please subscribe. We would love to have you here. And we'll see you really soon. Bye. Bye.